Hi, my name is Roman Sweeney from Quality CPO First Aid Training, and welcome to this short video which is going to demonstrate the use of live feedback mannequin technology, which we use in all of our first aid training courses. It's been proven to significantly assist participants in gaining mastery of those vital CPO first aid skills. So now I'm going to move to the mannequin and give you a practical example of the software. Inside the mannequin, what I'm going to do is perform adequate CPR so you can see how that looks using the live feedback software. I'll make some deliberate errors in terms of my uh, rate, compression, and release, and then we'll have a look at the software measuring ventilations as well. So I'll start off with uh, delivering some quality CPR initially. So what we can see here is every every compression, every release is being measured. In the top right corner we have our rate counter and then below that we have our average depth as well. I'll begin to make some deliberate errors. So if I don't release effectively, what we should get is a yellow arrow telling me to release more effectively. Now what I'll do is achieve an effective release but I won't go deep enough. And now if I achieve adequate depth and release but I slow down too much, the top right corner is going to turn yellow indicating to me that I need to increase my rate. And this is how the software works in effect. So if I bring everything back on track again, it should all go green. It's very intuitive, and this helps muscle memory in participants so that when it comes to performing CPR for real on a patient, they can rely on that muscle memory from having practiced using live feedback. So now I'm going to practice some ventilations for you. The first ventilation will be adequate, the next one will be over, and the final one, the third one, will be slightly under where it needs to be. So as we can see, the first ventilation in the bell curve, the color is blue, which is good. The second one is yellow, and it's over the 700 mil mark, so I have significantly overventilated the uh, mannequin. And the third one is slightly under. Based on ARC, guidelines, the Australian Resuscitation Council's guidelines, we want to make sure we do not overventilate our patient because it can cause airway complications. Hopefully you've now seen how powerful this software is, and we use it exclusively throughout all of our first day training courses. If you'd like to learn more about some of our courses, you can go to our website at www.qualitycpurfirstaid.com.au, or if you'd like to contact us, you can call on any of the contact numbers. I hope this video has been useful. We'll now be following up with a short video dealing with an infant mannequin using the same feedback technology. Thanks for watching.